Okay, so I thought I had all the stuff, but I just went to get my needle, and it disappeared from the baggie. If this is the thing that it'll come in. You see it says 14 gauge, and it's stainless steel, and it's by Body Vibe. Um, I'll just go get a new one, like, in a week or something. I don't know. You have to be 18 to buy them for most places, though, so if you're gonna do this, like, have your older friend or sibling or mom or dad or whoever do it. I had my friend's boyfriend do it. Actually, that's a lie. Um, graduation day for my 8th grade graduation thing. Um, my friend, she wanted me to pierce her septum, and she kind of left the stuff with me and forgot, so I just kind of kept it. Um, but anyway, how to pierce it safely. What you need first is like what you're going to put in. Like, Let's say you're doing your belly button. Make sure it's something simple like this, no danglies, anything like that. You can have a little decal. That's not a big deal. That wasn't my first one. I don't know where my first one is. Or lip ring or whatever you're piercing. This is the clamp. And like I said in my other video, but I'll say it again. Once you push it together, these things lock. And it you can't pull it apart. You have to push them like apart. <laughs> It's so hard to do. It's like not even worth it. So let's say I was going to pierce right here. I would hold it in part, but it's so hard to like hold it like that. So what most people do is take a rubber band or hair tie. It's kind of deformed because I had it wrapped around it. Um, and wrap it on this end. And just like as if you were like tying your hair, just keep going through. And we don't want it to be super tight because you're going to have to like pull it I made it too tight. <laughs> um, you're going to have to like pull it apart and stuff. But we want it to be able to hold. That's, that's good because you want it to be kind of tight. Let's say I was piercing my dimples. Hold it in place. And it will stay. I wish I could like demonstrate this. <laughs> Um, let's say that this is my needle. This is apparently a needle band. You get it in place, you hold it away, and you push. It's really not that hard. But before you do that, you will need to sterilize everything. You need to wash your hands. I did this in a bathroom, kids. <laughs> um, you need to wash your hands. You need to even, like, sterilize this with, like, alcohol or bactine. Spray what you're piercing, like your lip or your ear or dimples or belly button, with Bactine and wipe it down with alcohol. And then you need to clean the needle, needle, and the piercing. You need to, like, even if it says that it's sterilized, even though it is sterilized, you still need to put it in alcohol and then spray it down with Bactine. And just push it through. Just make sure you don't have a sewing needle or anything like that because then it'll be so hard to find jewelry that'll actually fit your lip or your belly button or whatever. And make sure you have a 14 gauge, but they sell 16 gauges too, but, and they sell 12 gauges, but whatever you use, I would suggest 14, make sure that when you're buying the piercing and you're buying the needle that they're both the same gauge because it is so hard to like gauge a lip or a belly button or whatever and really I had a friend who pierced her boyfriend's nipples some things just don't ice like if it's something it hook onto like it can hook onto your lip or it can hook onto your nose and stay or here that's okay but if it's like hooking on to loose skin like that where it like can easily pull off don't ice it like your ear that's fine or don't do your eyebrow because that pulls off on its own um don't really know what else to say about it just make sure that if you're doing it for someone else that they understand that if their parents aren't cool with it not to fucking snitch on you because you're going to deny it that's what I do I'm like um if you tell anyone that's happened you can tell your friends, but if you tell your fucking parents it was me, I'm gonna deny that shit. Piercing? <gasps> she has that pierced? I would never! 
Like, yeah. I'm so sad though. I was gonna pierce some tonight. Um, you're most you're supposed to buy a new needle for every piercing because my cousin who's a piercer told me that if you knew use a needle on yourself and then you used a get on yourself, I don't know if like this person didn't clean it or if they did or I don't know, but apparently you can give yourself hepatitis. It's happened. But I really I don't do that. I just clean the needle again. Um also, if you're gonna pierce like dimple, feel around. Like make sure there's no veins that you're gonna hit. I would not say just really doing your dimples on your own or doing your bridge on your own because there are really nerves there. But doing your lip on your own or I guess your eyebrow or belly button or ears or lip or septum or whatever or Monroe. I don't really think it's a big a big deal. Like I look funny. Like legit this hurts more than the actual piercing having it on right now. And you see the um thing right there, the opening? That's so when you pull it off, you can just pull it out. You just gotta open it a little and just pull it out. You don't have to like mess around and try to pull it around stuff. Like I can put it around my lip. <laughs> no I can't. Yes I can. I'm just too lazy. As if I just pierced it and pulled it off so easy. Um, as for piercings that I want to get, because I know I just made a video about piercings that I already have. So I have my belly button, I have my lip, I have my ears gauge. I want to get three more, like two more, up on my ears, so I have three on both ears. And then I want my septum done. I want this done. I want this done. I want this done. I want my eyebrow done. I want my tongue done. I want my tongue done. I don't suggest doing it on people's tongues because there's a lot of nerves there and you can paralyze someone. Um, again, I don't really know what else to say about this. If you have any questions, just comment on this or message me or whatever and I'll get back to you. Because even though I am young, I do actually know a lot about this stuff. Because I have cousins who are piercers and my dad's into piercings and I'm into piercings. I pierce people, people pierce me, stuff like that. So I do actually know a lot about it. If you have any questions or like any concerns or you want to know what brand is better like just message me or comment on this or get at me on Facebook I'll put my Facebook in the down bar or my Twitter or anything like that so yeah I hope I help I love that episode